Hey everyone, firstly we have hit 6,000 subscribers and I can't thank you enough. I remember how excited I was over 100, so this is insane. So I spent the past few days enjoying Destiny's content, <laughs> like everyone else, and hear me out. I'm not saying she's an angel, but she's definitely spiced things up. I really thought that it would be mediocre, but some of the things that she's mentioned here is quite juicy, and my comment section is on fire sometimes with discussions, debates, and sometimes arguments, but you know what? I love the tea, so I thought we have to debrief this together. <laughs> So starting in January of 2016, Amberlynn did have a very bad attitude just in general, just with anything, like if she wasn't kind of getting her way, if it just wasn't going the way she wanted to do it. Like this was as long as I've known. It. Becky, you're so hot. Ugh, I can't take it. Can you be mine? That's a, that's a lie. I know they're trolling. So hot. I know they're trolling. I'm not even in a shot anymore. They're trolling. I mean, yeah. I only watch so I can see Becky's amazing face. Liar. Okay, this Stella girl, Becky, I love you and I want the best for you, but she's, I, I feel like she's trolling. And that's okay. Did she you is. see what she just said? Yeah, I did. I mean, I know you'd be all about that. Like that's, <laughs> you know. Becoming a nurse, BRB. But I just don't want no, you to be hurt. It's okay, don't worry. Don't I'm worry just about afraid. She never complimented me. I mean, I think you get the gist. I can't really say that I'm surprised. She does act like an empath and talks about her sympathy bone a lot. But really, we saw this behavior with Crystal. We saw it with Becky. We even heard about it from Casey as well. These people were all shy. So if it's coming from Destiny, you know, that that itself speaks volumes. I let Amberlynn keep Twinkie, obviously, because I don't, she just was drawn to Amberlynn more. I didn't want to take her from her. And she also kept wasabi and rarity. Amberlynn started Weight Watchers again in January. We started hanging out with, that's when we really started hanging out with Libby. Um, she was 15 at the time and that was our roommates that screwed us over. That was her little sister. Libby, come on. say sorry to mama number one. Wait, which one's mama number one? Oh no, I should be mama number one. But I've known Destiny longer. True, but I'm older, so it's a thing. We went to Walmart incredibly too much. I really don't understand why we went to Walmart so much. It's ridiculous. Um, and then about me riding the carts in Walmart, um, I rode them when I was with her because she was embarrassed riding them by herself. So she would make me ride one too, to make her feel better. Got a long day at work. We're driving one of these. Wait, I'm gonna go this way. You wanna know the funniest thing? At this, at this Walmart, everybody and their mother uses this thing. Like everybody. I think it's because they have so many. Literally they have 50. I've never seen a Walmart like this before. So we've had a long day. I'm wearing, the wrong I must be honest, I never really thought of Amberlynn having this much power in a relationship. I always thought of her as morphing into the other person to keep them happy. But from where Destiny is standing, it looks like she had to compromise a lot. If that's even the right term to use here. I also find it a little cringe how she would have had to tell Destiny, right, so you need to get in the cart too, and then I will start filming and then telling my audience that everyone uses one of these. Capiche? Then we get to February of 2016. She goes through a vegan phase. It didn't last very long and towards the end of it she was just eating Fritos and Oreos because technically they're vegan. So tomorrow is my first day of being a vegan. I'm honestly super nervous. I'm really excited to help the animals and to help my health and to spread awareness of something that's really important. Hello everybody. I just want to start off this video by apologizing to everybody 
especially vegans. About a week ago, I absolutely adored a Five Guys cheeseburger. Also at this point, Amberlynn only had 2,000 subscribers. So that tells you where she was at. This is also around the time uh, our boss got a letter from a subscriber about us vlog, or about us, but about Amberlynn vlogging at work. Okay. Somebody, somebody done it. I don't know how they done it. Okay. It, it, it can be fixed, but I ain't got the 72 like I like on it. Okay. We'll get it fixed. Good, thank you. You're welcome. Have a good night. You too. Thank you. I think you will. Yeah. <laughs> we will. Tired on your feet. <laughs> oh yeah, my feet are definitely tired. Good night. I did try to cut out some of the boring parts and keep the most relevant bits in. Apparently she didn't get into a lot of trouble for this, but honestly, there were times where she was actually filming residents. Perhaps accidentally, but I wouldn't feel comfortable having a YouTuber film my relative in a care home. It's inappropriate and unprofessional, not to mention client confidentiality. And then the bra scandal. I don't think she even has these bras anymore. But the bras that you guys would always give her crap for for wearing, she only had two of them. I don't remember how many she said she had, but she had two of the same exact bra because it was the only one that she liked and it fit her, whatever it was. She had them for a long time. What you're looking at here is a compilation of Emberlyn's infamous bra situation type deal. Emberlyn would vlog as usual, but would often forget that her subscribers are very good at paying attention to detail. It got to a point where people were speculating that she was wearing the same bra all the time without washing it. I mean, to be fair, I'm sure she was washing it. I can't imagine why she wouldn't, but it didn't look like it was in good condition, which is where this whole thing came from. I think this is what Amberlynn had talked about. I think someone asked her about who she would want to propose, like if she wanted to or if I wanted to, and she was saying hopefully I would want to. I never proposed to her because we literally fought so much and I wasn't sure if we would ever truly be happy together. Like, cause there was just so much fighting and tension, obviously off camera. Um, we'd have good times, but the bad times were starting to outweigh the good times. <laughs> okay, baby. You're pulling on me. You don't realize what you're doing when you're just tugging on me like I'm a freaking jungle gym. <laughs> this can do like a mukbang. What the fuck? I'm not doing a mukbang. I'm not being your bitch ass. <laughs> you're mean when the camera's on. We are in a neighborhood. That's pretty much what's going down. Like nothing's really going down, huh? Huh? Nothing's really happening right now. I'm trying to pay attention. Oh, she's trying to pay attention. It's kind of at a boring part. No, it's not. Did she have a good day at work? No. This is something that really surprised me, but maybe it's just me. I had no idea that they were fighting behind the scenes. I mean, I knew that she was annoying Destiny because of all the videos we see, but I didn't know that Destiny was really ready to leave her because of it. I always thought that she kind of bumped into Dana and thought, wow, and she felt starstruck and moved on to the next thing. But clearly there was a lot going on behind the scenes. Also, Amberlynn made it seem like she wasn't very jealous at all, but from Destiny's side, it comes across that she was very possessive. This is also around the time we started having some drama with her aunt. Her aunt essentially just became very upset with her and blocked her on everything because she was never sticking to any diets and she was constantly basically self-destructing herself, you know, she was constantly, and I mean, she's still obviously dealing with that now. So I don't know how her and her aunt's relationship is now, but it is what it is. I feel like I need to vent, I need to talk, I need to get it out, I need to just scream about it and be like, what the actual fuck is happening right now? My aunt has completely stopped talking to me in December. Um, she blocked me on Facebook, she blocked me on her cell phone, blocked my number completely. Um, I have no way of getting a hold of her whatsoever. And the reasoning is because I'm fat. Okay. I'm not kidding. 
I know that sounds bad saying it like that, but the truth is it's because I'm fat. When I uploaded a video about how my aunt doesn't talk to me anymore because I'm fat, they were greatly offended. No, my aunt, you know, she didn't stop talking to me because I'm fat. She stopped talking to me because of the issues I brought upon her, I guess. And if she's watching this, I am so sorry. And I really just, I wish I could change who I am as a person. The contrast between the two videos is actually so amusing. I do believe that she probably wants to change, but also she's thinking, hey, this is giving me views. So if I change and lose weight, then great. If I don't, I'll still have a lot of views due to my failure, meaning that I will have so much more money. It's a win-win situation for her, and really, there's no incentive to change anything. Apart from, of course, maybe her health, which is partly why she is somewhat trying. And as a side note, I think it would be really odd if your aunt just didn't want to talk to you because you were fat. So, no one really believed that. One, because it just doesn't make sense. And two, because Amber hasn't really got the best track record of telling the truth. Come on now. This is also when she started making her soup chili Everything in a pot, goulash stuff. I did not ever really try these. They were, that was gross. So this is what it looks like. And I like tomatoes in salsa. So this is what it looks like. Okay, a little update on how it looks. Oh my gosh, it looks delicious. This looks delicious, and this is probably the consistency I should start making my chili. That was gross. <laughs> Honestly, I feel like Destiny was the right person to be making these videos, because as much as she says that she suffers from anxiety, she's definitely the one that can stand up to Amber Lynn and not give a shit. Amber always used to say how Becky used to love her soups and chilies, and I'm thinking, Becky was an incredibly picky eater, and she definitely wasn't going to stand up to Amber Lynn and say this tasted gross. Um, we had an appointment with a the, her first weight loss program that she wanted to go to. It was called Ageless Weight Loss. Um, my stepdad's, one of his very good friends had done that. And he lost so much weight on it. And it was, it was a really good little thing. But I know that we said we could afford the payments when the lady told us the payment every month. But at the end of it, she said the down payment had to be like I think it was two grand so then we we told her that we would think about it and I think we were thinking about saving up for it but then on the way back from that appointment my mom talked about this other weight loss program so I think we just went ahead and tried that instead Amberlynn also had some doubts because she felt like the calorie intake that they were giving for that was there just wasn't enough he didn't mention anything of fruits and vegetables, not a single thing. And for some reason that shocked me because I feel like a good nutritional diet is to have fruits and vegetables. But he would rather me eat like sodium filled beef jerky and he'd rather me go to McDonald's and have a cheeseburger over broccoli. So I logged everything and my sodium was over 4,000 milligrams. The calories versus the sodium completely shook me it was like 720 calories that was all i was going to eat every single day and i was like my eating disorder mind and like everything that's happened to me in the past with like food and like everything just like came rushing back and i started thinking of octavia and i started thinking of my binge eating disorder and i was just like what 720 calories i can't do it he told me distinctively this is what you're going to be eating every single day and i don't know i i want to know dm me if you want is 720 calories every single day is that okay for someone especially when it's there's like really no fruits and no vegetables it's all very like processed meats and things like that and it's like a lot of sodium is that like okay
anyone that's been here long enough knows that this is exactly what Amberlynn does. She's making the doctor sound like an imbecile and giving you really obviously simple questions to which she knows that the answer would be in favor of her stopping the program. I've already made a video on this, so you can go and check it out if you want. But my question to you, Amber Lim, would be DM me if you like. Is it also fine if you eat 6,000 calories with lots of sodium anyway? Because if you're not going to be under calories, you're just going to be going the other way around and eating over calories. And in comparison, you're probably better off under than over, no? This isn't something that I'm recommending, but I highly doubt that this doctor gave her such little calories anyway. There's so many videos of Amber actually not counting her calories correctly. Then another thing with being at my mom's, my mom had a, it wasn't a clawfoot bathtub, but she had, it wasn't like a normal bathtub. I don't know how it's explained. You see it in the videos a lot. Um, Amber Lynn did not shower the whole time we were at my mom's. She did not like the bathtub. She refused to even try to get it in. I think she was, she was having a hard time getting her leg over it. It was the thing because it is pretty high sides. And she just basically, you know, whore bathed. <laughs> she just, you know, she washed her hair. I Like I'd help her wash her hair over the shower. Um, and she just kind of washed with washcloths and wore plenty of deodorant. That's That's what she did. A little while ago, Amber Lynn admitted that in 2019 she wasn't able to have a bath. And now Destiny's saying that she wasn't able to have baths here either because she couldn't get her feet over the bath. I have a feeling that Amber was always slightly nervous about Becky or Destiny outing her, so she made the statement herself before they did it. If you remember, after she admitted to this, she made it her mission to mention it in every single video that she had a bath or showered to prove to people that she's clean. It was getting to the point where she was saying it so much that people made reaction, compilation, and even parody videos about it. At one point, she even filmed herself having a shower to desperately prove that she is in fact showering and not cleaning herself with washcloths anymore. Here are the clips. We are clean and pristine. Hello? Is anyone home? And there's my shower. I said Amberlynn wants to go to the hospital over any and every little thing. Um, I don't know, it could just be anything. And she'd be like, I think I need to go to the hospital. And I would, she was kind of becoming a hypochondriac and I had to just be like, stop. <laughs> Hello everybody. Some of you probably know this. I was diagnosed with gallstones a little over two years ago. To make a long story short, I pretty much had to force the emergency room to take an ultrasound because I knew I had gallstones, but their hearts were set on, oh, you're too young to have gallstones, but I knew I had them here for like five hours now, and I'm just now gonna be seen by the doctor. I don't know what's gonna happen, so I guess we'll see. They took my blood. Like, that made me sick. I'm gonna take seven tubes. Update, they have this thing on me, and this thing on me. For an itch. I've never seen such a thing in my life. 149 over 73. Not shabby. 149 over 73 is actually pretty decent, especially for someone my size, like geez. I am actually about to go to the ER. I only got about four hours of sleep, but really don't care. Um, I noticed yesterday, I just feel like everything's falling apart. <laughs> like my whole body is just done and I don't blame it. <laughs> but yesterday I started noticing a pain slash a little bit of, I guess you can call it maybe puffiness and hardness near my belly button. I do think she has health anxiety, but also another part of me thinks you look way too happy to be sitting there on the hospital bed with your gown on, with the blood pressure cuff on, the pulse oximeter, and all the other medical equipment. It makes her feel important that so many people are attending to her. It may be to do with her childhood, the fact that she never got attention, therefore has this craving for all eyes to be on her. I don't know where it originates from, but I do think she enjoys being at the hospital. Let me tell you this though, if Amber's in the hospital and they say, oh my god, wow, you've got an infection, let's treat this, here are some antibiotics, she would be loving it. Versus if they said, 
Wow, we've run some tests and actually you're diabetic, your cholesterol is through the roof and your kidneys are failing. She would not film that, she would brand the doctor an idiot and walk right out and she would go to the next ER. You see what I mean? She wants the really quirky diagnosis where it isn't her fault and there's no way to avoid it. Um, this is also around the time my mom and Amber Lynn start getting into a lot of spats about stuff. Um, they just, they started arguing quite a bit. Amber Lynn's just, she's very set in her way or no way kind of deal. Um, I don't know. That's just, she, and she doesn't care, like, if she disrespects you, basically. Like, she really just does not care to have respect. Like, we were at my mom's house living with her, and she still was, you know, like, I don't know if it had been the other way around I was not gonna try to argue with her mom you know like it was like a respecting your elders kind of thing even though you're not a child you should still respect your elders absolutely I agree with destiny here you should respect your elders this doesn't mean that you need to do what people tell you but you should be respectful if you don't agree make your point respectfully. I haven't heard how she talks to Destiny's mom, but I've heard the leaked voice notes about how Amber speaks to Becky's dying mother. She pretty much demanded an apology for the money that Amber almost gave her, um, and then decided that she wasn't going to. There's still a lot of speculation about what happened to that money and whether it was all just a scam. But my point is besides that, it was such a rude voice note to someone who had just woken up from surgery and is very unwell. I'll put it in the clip that I found on YouTube here from another creator. That is the last thing I want to do since you just got out of surgery. I'm tired of not being appreciated when I try to help you the best that I can. I have left comments on your Facebook regarding your cancer. I have asked how you're doing. I have been there in that sense. And... You know, we don't have to really go down the line of, oh, you didn't message me, you didn't message me, because I can say the same about you, where not once have you thanked me personally for the money I was going to give you, for the video I made, you heard for that. the backlash I'm getting, you. for sticking up for you. Not once did you say sorry for any of the things that you have brought to my channel that is in a negative light. But watching these videos really made me miss my mom. I really wish Lexus could have met my mom. Um, I don't know, my mom just would have loved her. Mm -hmm. We took my mom to the Cheesecake Factory. We were all excited about the cheesecake. That was when the Cheesecake Factory obsession began, you know, like we were just going so much. Yeah, it's a lot. <laughs> so Destiny got a cheesecake. I might take a bite, but look at how awesome that looks. So I always get the same thing. Oh yeah, we're gonna go have Indian food one day. I don't know. We're gonna go somewhere where there's Indian food. Becky don't like Indian food, huh? I have a bad experience. A very bad experience. Disney, I don't think Disney would like it though. No. It's a bit spicy. Yeah, it's spicy, yeah. It's the curry. I never watched her videos when we were together or even after we broke up. I did I just didn't. You know, like when we were together, obviously, I was living the video. <laughs> so, you know, um I didn't think to go back and watch her stuff. So some of the stuff that she would lie about that you guys, that she admitted to, whatever, that I'm letting out. Um, I didn't know that was going on. I didn't know what she was telling you guys. I can picture Amberlynn posting a video and then sitting back with some popcorn and just enjoying her own videos. But I think she knew that Destiny wasn't watching them and she preferred it that way because then she could lie and not get caught. I noticed a lot too that Amberlynn in her mukbangs will be like, well, I don't really like this that much, but then continues to eat it anyway and eat like a lot of it. Like, I'm like, if you don't like it, I don't know about you, but when I don't like something, I'm not going to touch it again. I'm not even going to attempt to be like, well, it's food. No. <laughs> I'm going to be eating three pretty big slices of pizza. I really don't want to eat. Like, I don't. But I haven't eaten today at all. 
and that's not good. This was indeed a common occurrence. Um, there are a lot of compilation videos that show this. Now, I think maybe it's just to show her audience that she doesn't actually eat all the time and it's not always because she just loves food so much. So she wanted to seem a little bit casual about it, but who knows? She says at some point that we were gonna take the cats to the vet and that we had taken Wasabi to the vet. We, I never took these cats to the vet. Wasabi came with his shots and with Jax, I think once he was with me and Dana, I got, I went to the feed store and got his shots and just did them myself. The whole time we were together, we did not go to the vet. <laughs> I know she said that we did and I didn't realize she was telling people that, so. Then I also noticed that Amber Lynn says something about being scared to be at the movie theater a lot. We went to the movie theater so much it was getting ridiculous. Again, Amberlynn had the freedom to lie about anything, knowing that Destiny would never look at the videos. Until now, of course. And the movies. See, you see what I mean about the quirky things? She thinks it's quirky to be afraid of the movies, yet she goes all the time? Makes no sense. Um, we went to a party at my mom's friend's house. Um, we were there, we were getting, it was going to be kind of late there, and we ended up kind of like leaving abruptly because the girl's house that we were at her it was actually her husband it caused a lot of stuff um he kept being super rude to Amberlynn like he was saying some just vulgar stuff to her about her weight and stuff and then he started hitting on her and saying that he wanted to I'm not gonna say this word on YouTube but you know he wanted to have sexual relations with her, I guess, is what you would want to say. He kept saying it. We ended up leaving. It was a big thing. And it was what it was. It was a lot of drama. You also see her vlogging in the car a lot without me being in there. It's because we went, we would go to, it didn't matter if it was Walmart, whatever store we were at. If when we were done shopping and decided, we were deciding to leave, it was me at the checkout with everything and her going to the car and sitting and waiting. That's just how it was. So here are the clips that she was just talking about. I believed it anyway because it was a pretty standard Amber Lane thing to be doing. I feel like we've covered quite a lot today. Please tell me if you've enjoyed today's content because it was slightly different going back and forth with new and old videos. I think it just makes it easier to follow and hopefully helps anyone who's new to the Amberverse to understand the things that Destiny's talking about. I'm definitely more than happy to do a part two because there's more on the Goss from Destiny if you guys want me to. Please don't forget to like and subscribe for more from me and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!